Boom! All right, guys, welcome back. Grand Training Systems. Today, we've got a very cool positional stretch from my movement mobility positional stretching philosophy that's really going to help reduce your lower back pain in this area here. And the coolest thing is you can very easily do it from your couch or even your bed in your own home. All right, and before we get started, let's get a little bit of house cleaning out of the way. If you have not checked out my free programs or my free consultation, look at the link below. This video is from The Unbreakable Body, which using the code REHABGTS, you can actually now save 25%. And as always, please like, comment, and subscribe to this video because that helps me help more people like you and allows everyone to see my stuff. All right, so this is a very weird angle for a YouTube video. I apologize, but follow me on this one because we've got two angles and they're gonna be very useful to how you can do this at home. Now, in the video, I said that we could use a bed. Obviously, I don't think you have something like this at home. If you do, great. If not, your bed or your couch is fine because what we need to do is we need to lie down flat, but we wanna have our feet on the ground. And so in this position, what I'm able to do, and it's easier actually if you're on a bed because you've got more space, is I wanna first start just kind of leaning in to the right or to the left. So in this case, I'm going to the right, make sure you can see it in the camera. And as I kind of lean, I'm playing with my feet and I'm also playing with my hips. So I try to square my hips up to the table. I can turn them to the right, turn them to the left, do whatever I want. I wanna see if I can get an uncomfortable feeling in the lower portion of my back. If this feels almost like it makes you sick and not a stretch, believe it or not, that's normal. That is kind of a common, feeling when we stretch fascia. And so what I wanna do is one, I like to sometimes just quickly test both sides because my right side is totally fine, but my left side sometimes is disgusting feeling. And that should not be the case because we should have really evenness on both sides. So from here, what I like to do is I like to see if I can kind of get the stretch in this position. If you don't really feel it or you want to increase the stretch, what I'm able to do is I'm going to straighten my lower leg. You're going to be able to see that better in my other camera. So my left leg is straight. And sometimes when you straighten the leg, you're going to notice that it's in the air a little bit. And obviously, if your bed doesn't go up and down, you can't change that. So what you can do is you can cross your foot under it. And that gives your, in this case, my left foot a platform to relax on. Now, what I find very interesting, <clears throat> excuse me, in this one is when I kind of drive my heel down, it's crazy how much more of a stretch I start feeling in this area right there. So you can put point your toe forward, maybe you feel that more. You can kind of turn your foot or your leg out. I personally feel it the most when I'm driving my heel into the ground. Now in this case, actually, my table is low enough where I think I can feel it. So what I can do here is actually just, or not feel it, I can keep my heel on the ground without the help of my right foot. So what I'm gonna do here <clears throat> is just really try to drive that heel into the ground. And then I also am kind of bending from my upper body and I'm just trying to get different areas into my hips. So you can maybe see in the camera how I'm rotating or working on the position of my pelvis and my hips here, trying to just kind of find some disgusting areas that really don't feel nice because that is showing me that something's being stretched and that's something I need to work on. And I just try to really breathe and kind of relax in this position. You might even feel a very nice stretch within your lat, within your shoulder and arm, that's cool. Sometimes I like to press my arm down with the other hand. And from here, you can just see me playing with this position. And then I will quickly show you kind of how I relax out of it, which I am doing right now. And then what I would do is I would test my other, other side. And what is interesting, when I go into this side, I'm not gonna do this side very long. I feel it, obviously. It feels much more like a normal stretch. The disgusting feeling is kind of gone. And uh, actually, the stretch feeling is also much, much, much less. Now, I've got scoliosis, and I know that my curve goes directly to the left, which would make sense why that side is more uncomfortable for me. So I like to focus on the side that it hurts obviously more, try to breathe, get it to relax. And then when I'm done, you're gonna realize that you kind of feel like you're paralyzed. You can't really sit up or you feel like you might throw your back out. That seems a bit strange, but what I like to do is you can already see me kind of moving around. And then I just like to slowly sit up but help myself sit up with my own like strength of my arms. And then I just kind of slowly move my back, kind of move my hips a little bit, let the blood come back. And then once the blood is back and you feel a little bit more normal, stand up and you're gonna probably notice maybe right at the beginning, actually nothing. But then when you start moving throughout the day, you're gonna realize that this cable, which would be kind of here in your lower back, is much looser. And that tension overall is gone and you're able to just do a lot more 
pain-free, but you can't really explain why. And that is because these cables down here, this fascia, which I just showed, is very, it gets very tight. It loses hydration from just our lack of movement and sitting too much. And right now you really just did a great exercise, a great stretch in opening it up. All right, there we go. One more video done and hopefully one more exercise for your library for you to become and stay pain-free. If you have not gone to the website yet, granttrainingsystems.com and signed up for the free 45 minute consultation, do so now. Let's talk one to one about how my digital physical therapy programs can help get you pain free and keep you pain free and make sure you live a life that is pain free. If you have not subscribed to the channel, do so now. Hit that goddamn bell so you get the notifications. Every Tuesday is a new video and these videos are also every Friday on IGTV. So if you have not, not subscribed to my podcast yet or not subscribed to my a little Instagram channel, then do so now because the link is up there. I want to see you guys everywhere. Let me know what you think of the videos. Leave your comments below. Have a goddamn good day and I'll see you guys next week.